Well, hello there. I'm Marty Whitney with Artitude Adjustment, and I'd like to welcome you today. I teach fun art, not fine art. So if you're here for the first time today, I hope when you come in that you will let me know who you are and uh, so I can say something to you. I'm just going to take care of setting my computer so that I can see uh, what you're saying and also turn my volume off because I don't want to hear me talking twice. So say hello whenever you come in. I'm glad you're here today. This is the beginning of a new week and uh, I had my daily, actually I think I had my weekly trip to Hobby Lobby this morning where I was um, trying to get ready for my class. I did it again, y'all. Okay, I'm just going to pin this and I want to say, welcome, now you can hear me. Uh, I'm Marty Whitney with Artitude Adjustment, and I know that it was a very low audio at, until I plugged in my microphone. So I'd like to say um, I teach fun art, not fine art, and I'm glad you're here. And how does this happen? Um, it was all straightened out until I plugged it in, and then it got all wrinkledy and knotted up. So anyway. Um, this is day one, and like I said, I went to Hobby Lobby this morning, had a great time with all those 50% off Christmas things, and I had to get something for my class, which is, this will be um, a class coming up on Thursday evening here at Florida Grand. I'm at Florida Grand Motor Coach Resort in Webster, Florida, and um, my husband and I are full-time RVers, and we, this is our winter base. Uh, where we come in here in about November, and we'll leave about in March. In the meantime, I'll be teaching uh, classes, so uh, art classes. That's about all I know is art classes. Um, but this week, we're doing some fun things and um, geared toward Christmas. Uh, I'm going to be real positive about it because um, everybody's kind of like getting ready for Christmas and shopping and not thinking about taking an art class right now, but um, that's okay, that's okay. So tell me if you have any problems um, hearing or seeing or whenever it happens, just let me know and I can take care of it because you know I'm techie now. I've been doing this for a couple of months now. I'm always on Monday through Friday uh, at three o'clock. I do a live and uh, Monday, we begin a new project, and Friday we end it, and I show you what we're going to be doing the next week. However, guess what? I forgot to do it Friday. I got off and I thought, I think I forgot something. What is it? Well, I forgot to introduce the project that we're going to do this week. So let me show you um, what we're doing. I've kind of started on this, but we're going to do an apron. And I'm, right now it's a nothing apron, but it does go around your neck with a little clip like this. And we're gonna make it into a Christmas apron. So my subject right now is going to be, and it's got little pockets in it. Actually, these are going to be right side up if I leave it like this. Um, it, that would be funny if I did it upside down, wouldn't it? But we've got it, we're all okay here. And I might be able to show you uh, close-ups as we go along. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna start now. Um, we'll be doing this. I always have a filler if at the end of the week we've finished uh, the art project. So let's get started. Oh, let me show you some of the supplies that we'll be using. Uh, first off, let me put me in a little bitty box so I can participate as well. Um, okay. Now, first off, I thought this was a real good purchase at Hobby Lobby. They had um, the Master's Touch items, um, and that means fine touch here, because she gave me 50% off. 
Um, this is a classroom package and it contains uh, 36 pieces of brushes. Now, <clears throat> I was kind of worried about that for my class because uh, I needed flat brushes for the project that we're going to be doing. So the, this includes nine of each size of a flat brush, a six, an eight, a 10, and a 12. Uh, regular $16.99 and it was 50% off. So yay for me, I got a good buy on brushes. And I was gonna, I really was looking at buying individual brushes for each class member if I needed to. Not necessary now, I'll have these from now on. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you was um, some of the supplies that we'll be using this week. Um, I'm going to be using, of course, um, General's charcoal white pencils. And that's what I'm going to draw my design on the apron with. Uh, I use these all the time in sketching. Um, uh, I know I had another one. Sketching um, designs before I paint them. And if I make a mistake, all I have to do is take a wet cloth and uh, wash it off so it isn't permanent at all. I'll also keep my white eraser because I might be able to use it, maybe. And I'll tape some of this down to make it a little more stable. I also, whenever I'm uh, painting cloths, I'll usually put a piece of plastic, um, if I have it doubled over, and I will, just to keep it from bleeding through. And what else? Um, ruler, I'll probably paint something that needs to be uh, ruled. So um, that's about all I'm going to need. But uh, I won't need anything today because all I'm going to be doing is sketching my um, design on here. And I had decided that I would do, this is probably going to be a Christmas gift, and I had decided that I would make this into uh, gingerbread men. I don't know why, they may make me think of Christmas. Uh, and I'm just going to try to make them proportional um, by just drawing them. And this is gonna be uh, the boy gingerbread man. So, oh, let me see if I can no, I can't do it when I have a picture in a picture. If we need to make that so that it is, um, if you'd like for me to zoom in on it, I can, but I have to take me out of the picture to do that. So just say it if you do. Um, now that's his little sugar headband, and that doesn't have to be, and none of this has to be exactly alike because I'm just sketching it. But he's got some little eyes. I just want to make sure I've left room for these. He's got a swirly cheek. And I don't like that. His smile there is kind of smirky. So, okay. Now he's got a little bit of a band here. Does it look like that arm is, it is. That arm is bigger than that arm. So let's get, we'll just put a little more dough over here. That's what it is. And then he has feet. Over here. This just gives me an idea of the layout of um, now. So this week we'll be doing apron, uh, and I. So I'm going to be. Let me see. A girl gingerbread. Actually. I'm not, I think I'll make a little baby gingerbread person too. 
so that we've got a whole family here. And I'll see if it fits on there. If it doesn't, then we'll have to uh, make a change. <coughs> she has a bow in her head. And the baby, what does the baby have? Hey, Meg, how are you? What does the baby have on its head? A uh, little curly Q hair, I guess. I'm going to take that off because I need to get over to the left a little bit more. Meg, we're making an apron. I don't know whether you just came in and you saw. Um, this is a wet towel, and I'm just going to try to take some of the charcoal off of it. Mm, I didn't move over at all. Okay, now, this is what was funny. Today when I came in, I realized what, what happened to all the brown paint. I was going to use some of it to mix and make a gingerbread color. Well, our Christmas float was full of teddy bears because the theme for the parade was Toyland. And there was the answer right there. We're going to have, he's going to have, or she's going to have a little bow and a little hair coming out of there. And I might make that a little bit bigger because I can right now. Um, Meg, I bet you are busy painting. Okay. I bet you've got some nice projects going. That's a weird looking leg there. This is the kind you gotta. This is just to remind me when I get going with my painting. Uh, of what I want and where I want it. Okay. So I think that I'll have um, all of my sketching done to be able to start painting tomorrow and get my colors and everything ready. Um, I did want to put a, um, I might paint a border around here uh, because it will give the, the characters a little more character. And that's just a cookie. Sometimes you just got to use your imagination, don't you? Okay. With some sprinkles on it. And that's going to the right way. Yeah. Okay. And maybe, whoa, 
we'll just remove the star from there. I've got all the room in the world. I don't need to bunch it up right here. We'll put the star cookie. Don't you like that better? I think so. Okay, and then we'll Have y'all started baking? Hey, Kim. Kim, I bet you've baked a lot. You probably, you probably uh, got a lot of gifts made by now. Okay, so this is an apron, and I'm going to paint probably a, uh, when you think of gingerbread, don't you think of a kind of a scallop border instead of stripes? I think that's what we'll be doing. Anyway, that's where we are right now, and I'd like to thank you for looking today. Uh, we've gotten this far. I want to stop at a, a real good place for this, and then tomorrow we'll be painting. So thank you all for being here, and I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Um, it's a great day to have a great day. So. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a great day. Bye-bye.